Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 3 here on the Game Professor channel. I am the host, I'm your host, the Game Professor. And last time we finalized a little bit of stuff on the Citadel um, in terms of just... Exactly. That 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 is very problematic. I, I don't think you have the right mindset there, private. I don't remember what the first private that spoke was. I'm sure nope, we do not have any messages. Um let me take a quick look at our journal though. So a whole bunch of Citadel stuff. So we just found an alien medigel formula that we can bring back to Huerta. So we definitely want that. Um we need to go to Benning to take care of finding that evidence of Ambassador Soba's son. Um, we still need to find those. We still need to find that. Uh, we need to find that. Uh, we need to find that. Um, we still need to do Priority Sirkesh. Um, which we know we need to get the Prothean Obelisk and the Shrike Abyssal. Uh, so we have a lot that we can do. I am not yet ready to continue with the main story. Um, in large part due to the fact that I know that we risk potentially cutting off story elements, even side story elements. There. Now I look a little bit more centered. Sorry about that. I just realized that I had adjusted a little too far in one direction with a previous adjustment, thanks to Chester. Um, so, we are going to collect the assets that we got here. Oh! Well, that's surprising. I was certain that we were going to be told uh, that we were going to still have the Reapers going after us. All right, so we have full everything there. Shrike Abyssal, we know we're looking for something there, so we might as well go there. And this will probably just be a case of scanning um, so we know we have a spot out here so let's do this first go further out and potentially more uh, fully deplete our fuel reserves I found something Okay. Dang, the Reapers are close. All right. Um, so we'll see how this goes. There we are. Prothean Obelisk, awesome. So we can turn that in at this point. That's 50% of assets, all right. We didn't do any scanning over here. All right. Light jump successful. Let's do this because we didn't do any scanning over here. There we are. That's going to be fuel. So we can use that fuel to get ourselves back to Evasion successful. the <laughs> mass relay, essentially. And I, I think I've sort of commented on that process a Signal little bit confirmed. with uh, previous episodes. But yeah, uh, Zataban. So this is um, a main Volus colony, I believe. Credits, all right. 
I'll take credits, I'll always take credits. So that's 50% of resources. There we go, get our fuel. And if you actually pay attention to the fuel, you're kind of gonna fully replenish everything, no matter what. Here's my frontier. I'm just gonna kind of work my way through the planets right now. In part because I've never actually really done things this way. There's probably the fact that we don't have anywhere else to go and there is still a fuel, fuel depot. There's probably nothing for us to find. That's what it's looking like. I will take that little bit to top off our fuel. Um, Minos Wasteland. I have no memory of where um, Binthu is. Okay, or I think it was Binthu. That's the location of um, Ambassador Soba's son. Benning. It's Benning. I have no memory of where Benning is. More, more credits, all right. And then the other thing in here is, again, probably going to be fuel. Yeah, that's fuel. That's We're just gonna plot successful. our jump. That's the Citadel. That's uh, where, um, what's it? Where um, Palavin is. The Anos Basin. I don't want to go there just yet in case it jumps us directly to that. We've fully explored the Exodus cluster, so... And that's... That's uh, where... Um, what's it? Where uh, Eden Prime is. So yeah, we definitely don't need to go back there. So we literally were just there. Um, what do we have here? That's where, okay, that's where Grissom Academy is, so we don't need to come back here. If we had waited longer to take care of Grissom Academy, that would have become overrun and impossible to get anything from, essentially. Um... I'm pretty sure the Grissom Academy would have been wreckage if we had waited too long. So we have find artifacts there below the Hades Gamma Cluster, so that's going to be where we find the artifacts for that uh, uh, black market dealer. Signal confirmed. Okay, let's see how many assets we get from this, from Trebin. This is always a good judgment of what you're going to get. More credits. Just getting a lot of credits right now, which I will... I won't complain about getting credits. Credits are hugely useful. Okay. So... Let's go... Let's just kind of work our way around the system at this point. So we have four separate solar systems to look at. And we already got the Reapers on our tails. Fabulous. And I guarantee we're going to end up with 50% resources pretty much everywhere here. Because if it's if it ends up just being fuel, I'm not going to go for it unless I absolutely have to. Um, okay, that was everything from there. Sweet. So then we can go to Dis. 22%. Okay, that's a little bit less than a fifth. That's a little bit more than a fifth. So there's going to be a system that doesn't have anything. Signal confirmed. 
essentially. That's what I get from this, is there's going to be a system that has nothing in it. Come on. There we go. More credits, alright. Man. We're just getting lots of money. Okay. Now is an instance where I will gladly get some fuel because I know we're going to be running a bit low. There we go. Get us close to 800. I will take that. Then we can get to a Faranata. Okay. So yeah. Between the five uh, different systems we're looking at something all right okay Juntalma we're just having a very exciting episode today guys of me scanning planets and running away from the Reapers this was not my plan initially I swear um, ultimately what I'm seeing is that we may need to start the next story mission sooner than I realized which I'm ultimately fine with I'm not gonna super complain about e run away there we go all right sweet oh man so we have two four five five six six is two-thirds so we're going to have two in Cacus and then the fuel remaining in the in the mass relay system. Signal confirmed. Okay. Chohi. I believe this is another one that is um Volus connected. I believe. It's one of those weird things where I try to make language connections. Uh, and I don't think we're going to get it. All right. Get out of here. All right. I'm cool with that. I would rather get the fuel that we have in here. Because I know we have fuel somewhere around here. Where'd it go? Shit. There we are. Because there's a good chance this is going to be large. 300 units? I'll take it. Reapers eluded. Alright. Um, so then, let's go to the kite's nest. This will be the next main place we go. This will probably end up finishing off the episode, depending on if there's anywhere that we can land. I found something. All right. Karshan. That, I believe, is Batarian. The Pillars of Strength, yes, that is Batarian. Um... Ooh, 33% of, re of resources, all right. So, probably gonna be another planet. Okay, one of these two. Oh boy. There we go, all right. It was just a little too far away from this planet to get it the first time. I've noticed that most of these scanning things end up going left, so I just kind of default to going left. Weapon upgrade kit, okay. That's interesting. Alright. How many? Faster than light jump successful. Looks like it's just okay, we have two that we can go to. Probably should have gone to the further away one first. Signal confirmed. We'll ignore that choice of mine. 
100 units of fuel, I'll take it. We're slowly <laughs> getting our fuel reserves back up. Attic, really hot and wet garden world with lots of lichen. There we go. I will definitely need to get myself used to talking while I play again, so I apologize for that, everybody. Um, especially with Mass Effect. Um, I recorded some episodes of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood already, and that's pretty easy for me to talk over as I'm just kind of exploring Rome. Uh, well, it's not going to make us... Oh, it's it's actually going to make us scan it. So that would be... Oh god, you got to be kidding me. This is going to be a pain. Um... Because now we still probably have two or th at least those are the black market artifacts all right all right so we have fuel somewhere that we can find evasion successful all right probably going to be there where is it there we are oh god i Pretty sure I just died. Yep. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Where's it gonna put us back? That's the million dollar question. Probably at the beginning of the system, I think, I hope. Oh god. Alright. Um All right, so that's where it is. So we'll do this. That'll put us right by it. We'll get it. And then we'll get out of dodge. That's how we'll do it. There we go. I do appreciate that it makes it that simple to get away. Um, but at this point, we're getting very low on fuel. So I will bring us back to the Citadel so that we can get out. Um... And get away as much as possible. This way we can drop off those artifacts. That'll take care of the blue suns for Arya. We've already taken out care of the uh, blood pack. And then that just leaves the eclipse. And since we'll be on the citadel, I'll just take care of the eclipse while we're there. Um... That will require us to, um, take, uh, that we'll have to talk to Commander Bailey about that. But that'll end up filling up the episode, You're probably. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Um, take me to the commons, please. It'll be there momentarily. Sweet. I dig it. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. And ultimately, I mean, the way I see it, I don't really care. I guess it doesn't matter how I do it. I just need to tell him about us. Mm -hmm. Wait. Us. You and me. Oh. He doesn't need to know that. Wouldn't it be better for him to just know that you've grown apart? I thought I was supposed to be honest with him. Uh-huh. You are. But you're just being tactful, not rubbing it in. Oh. I don't think the mistress wants to actually be attached. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from that. Oopsie. So you need to stop trying to break up that marriage person. Oh, there's a person there. Um, 
telling me that uh, Araka is there. I believe I need to drop off these items to the black market person first. I don't think I can talk to Araka at all beforehand. I'm pretty sure I have to talk to Kanek first. That's his name, Kanek. You're back, huh? Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Araka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Good. You should be. Awesome. Terminus fleet is updated. And that's ultimately one of the things that I love about this game in particular is this building of this gal of galactic force and the management of that. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer hmm. who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you. I like General Oraka. I really do. Um, he he's all military. He's he's old military. But frankly, within the context of the of this war time, you need that. You need a mixture of those old military hands at the top. And then the likes of Shepard at the tip of the spear to use. Um, the uh, the admiral's uh, <laughs> analysis, an analogy for everything. Um, Hackett. I was about to say Harkin, and I'm like, that's not right. Admiral Hackett. <laughs> But let's talk to Athena. We might remember Athena from Mass Effect 2. For a couple of reasons. Hey, I remember you. Shepard, right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena. You were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Nah. With the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. Okay. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. All right. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> Matriarch Benazio was, um, was her mother. And, uh, well, she doesn't know it, but I was her father. It's moments like this that I wish that the subtitles actually presented themselves as the character was speaking and didn't just put a block of text on the screen. Um, but yeah, we we literally looked at that video footage in the Lair of the Shadow Broker stuff. So I'm not going to question her father because... Yes, and th this is literally what is explained. Um, I'll probably do the explanation with the Legendary Edition playthrough, but to humans, both Athena and Benezia would be considered to be Liara's mother because they are both female presenting. Um, whereas to the Asari, because Benezia gave birth to Liara, that makes her the mother, and Athena is essentially just using the closest human term that she can possibly use, being father. Um, yeah, you should talk. Liara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Benazia ran off before the kid was born. Besides, Woof. this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Oh. Like a girlfriend <clears throat> who used to work for Cerberus. I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. Mm -hmm. And you're not with him now. <clears throat> I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. Is that a threat? 
I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with my girl. Anyway, you combine her work with Venezia and... Well, the matriarchs might have ordered a hit. That's not gonna happen. No argument here. I only took these crap jobs to keep the matriarchs happy that she's under control. Ah. Clear. Nobody messes with my girl. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're good enough for her after all. I bet she'd like to meet you. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. I forgot that that interrupt was what prompted the nobody messes with my girl from Shepard, but one of my favorite Shepard lines. And that might be one of the unique, one of the only unique lines associated with a romance choice that you make. Um... Because I'm not sure if that's available if you haven't chosen to romance Liara. Well. This could color some of my choices going forward with the Legendary Edition playthrough. We'll see. We'll see. But let's chat with Liara. That's not Liara. That's Liara. <laughs> Bartender over there? The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. I shouldn't be surprised that you're aware of that. I never get to surprise you with anything. <laughs> I'm a very good information broker. I mean, you are the shadow I broker. Did talk to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. True. Besides... This is hardly the time for family reunions. Um. <clears throat> I would argue that it absolutely is the time for family reunions. Liara. Oh, fine. <laughs> I love the simplicity of it. <laughs> I love the simplicity of it. Um, and yes, I literally i because that asari was in the middle of my vision i that's the only asari i saw so that's all that happened there come on can't blame the matriarchs for keeping an eye on you i am not my mother uh-huh mm, you did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind i had to make them take me seriously i wasn't going to actually do it and you bugged my office on ilium That'd be the logical conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I apologize for my little bit of uh, acting there. What? I can still talk to Araka? My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. Hmm. Come on. You know how Asari work. Infiltration and sabotage. But against Reaper forces, that's... I know. About as useful as tits on a Hanar. Good thing we've got the Turians and the Krogan to do the heavy lifting. Our people just aren't built for the front ranks. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, that could... That line could be interpreted somewhat in a sexist manner. Um, even though we're literally dealing with a different alien species. Um, just because the Asari are inherently female presenting. Oh, yeah. My dad was a Krogan. Yes, I'm aware of that. So, that makes you a quarter Krogan. <laughs> That's not how it works. I'm a thousand years old. I've had kids with Hanar. Don't tell me how Asari reproduction works. Wait. I have a half sister who's part Hanar. I thought that wasn't how it worked. <laughs> I love this conversation between the two of them. It, it's just so delightfully is, adorable. To headbutt something, it's genetic. I have never wanted to headbutt anything. Really? Not even a little bit? 
come on. I do not headbutt people. Right, fine. Don't go all blood rage on me. <laughs> or what? You'll tell the other matriarchs to order a hit. Hey, that's not gonna happen. I appreciate the teasing and then switching it back to seriousness. And I together for more than a century. Mm. You loved her? Of course I loved her. She was so smart. Always thinking. Nice, too. Hell of a lot nicer than I am. And damn that rack. <laughs> I mean, even before she hit the matriarch stage. You don't need to tell me everything. <laughs> That is an interesting element. Um, what that suggests is the the femininity, as humans would interpret it, of the Asari is directly related to whichever life stage they are in. So they are most feminine physically speaking, in the matriarch stage. Very interesting. Because that would directly go against procreation instincts. Nazi was the only one who ever listened to me when I said the Asari were stuck in the past. Only difference was I wanted us to stand on her own. Hmm. She wanted alliances with the other species. Kay. Is that why? Why it ended? Nah. Well, maybe. I don't know. Mostly it ended because she wanted to solve things the smart way. I wanted to fight. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Mm hmm. Yeah. I hear you've racked up quite a body count. But then, you are a quarter crook. <laughs> now you're doing it on purpose. I think that's the end of the conversation. Um. It was pretty clear she was leaving. No. Can't be the wise counselor when you're married. Why not? Sex appeal. Huh. Some species only pay attention if they want to have sex with you. So you have to be available. Mysterious. What? That's not true. Shepard listens to me. And how many times have you thrown her on the bed and peeled her out of her uniform? <sighs> Do you have to make it sound so tawdry? If it's all civilized... You're not doing it right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Benezina would not be having this conversation in that manner. <laughs> I made her promise to let you go your own way, though. No matter what she wanted. All right. Really? I knew you'd be special, kid. Any daughter of hers. I told her, you're treating her like a baby bird, Nezzy. She's going to raise one hell of a storm with those little wings. Little wing? You okay? Yes. Thanks. And obviously, um, we know Little Wing was Benezia's nickname for Liara. Um, so that is the end of the discussion. We can't say anything else to Araka. Um, we technically are already going a little bit long because I spent so much time on that discussion with Liara and um Athena but I am still gonna go to the embassies so that I can speak to Bailey we'll finish off the discuss the episode with talking to Bailey so that we can start next bleh, next episode with speaking to the eclipse leader that way we will literally have all of that done for um, Aria. Did I say? Now I don't. I think that I misspoke. I think I didn't say Aria. I also, actually, because I'm here, I'm gonna see if there's anything that I can get from CSEC requisitions. I don't think there's anything. Ooh. 
Citadel Entry Authorization, instructors at Grissom Academy have requested facilities on the Citadel to train young students who escaped the attack on the, the school, but who are not yet ready to join older students in combat. Citadel authorities will find room for the students if a specter approves the request. Yes, please. It is potentially risky, but I'd rather have them there. Um... Okay. You know what? I'm just going to get all these things that I can. Ugh, still so much before I can get the Black Widow. That. As soon as I can get the Black Widow, though. That is. That will be the end of all sniper rifle struggles of any kind. Come on. There we go. Alright. Let's talk to Bailey, and then we will be ready next time. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Adaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. Hmm. What's your stake in this? It's classified. Okay. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Yeah. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. How unstable is she? What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Okay. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. E. No, okay. freedom will only give her the chance to kill. Okay. Let me see her. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the council will listen to you and rescind the order. Okay. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. All right. That is a perfect way to end the episode, everybody. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out. And follow the links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server so you can join the conversation. But until next time, everybody, this is your game professor signing off. I'll see you next time. And I have some drift occurring with one of my sticks. That's really funny. Look how slowly I'm moving. There we go. Got it to stop. There we go. Actually signing off now, guys. Thanks.